Welcome to another amazing Kansas City Chiefs video. Today, I bring you another hot news for you, fan. So, go ahead and leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and comment now below the video. Let's go Kansas City Chiefs. In the 2023 season, the Kansas City Chiefs struggled with wide receiver issues, heavily relying on Travis Kelsey and Rassi Rice despite having Patrick Mahomes as quarterback. Despite winning another championship, the Chiefs aimed to strengthen their wide receiver core. To achieve this, they pursued Marquis Hollywood Brown in free agency, seeking to inject speed and provide Mahomes with additional options in challenging situations. The details of Brown's contract reveal a strategic move by Kansas City. Structured with incentives, the contract rewards Brown's performance while keeping cost-effectiveness for the team. Incentives include bonuses for touchdowns, playing time based on snap percentages, and yardage milestones, aligning Brown's compensation with his contributions on the field. According to Spotrac, for touchdowns, Brown can earn significant bonuses, with incentives set at $500,000 for his fifth touchdown, increasing to $1 million for his seventh. Additionally, Playing time incentives range from $500,000 for reaching 45% of snaps to $1.5 million for playing 75% of snaps. Furthermore, Brown can earn up to $1.5 million based on his receiving yards, with milestones set at 500, 625, 750, and 1,000 yards. Brown's addition brings dynamic vertical speed a trait he has showcased since his time with the Baltimore Ravens and the Arizona Cardinals. Apart from statistics, his speed creates opportunities for other receivers like Rice and Kelsey, opening up space in the middle and underneath the field. By signing Brown, the Chiefs demonstrate their commitment to maximizing offensive firepower while being prudent with financial resources. Now I want to hear your opinion, dear fan, so go ahead and leave your comment below. At this moment, Leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and activate the notification bell to not miss any updates. Today I have news that will stir up emotions for Kansas City Chiefs fans. Things are heating up, and every day brings new information. Today, I bring you the hottest news of the moment, so stay tuned with me to find out everything. Drop a like, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any updates, and comment below. Let's go Kansas City Chiefs. Woo! It appears Kansas City Chiefs star Ljarius Sneed is looking to reset the cornerback market with his next deal. Sneed, who received the $19.8 million franchise tag from the Chiefs earlier this month, would like to land a contract that would conceivably make him the highest paid cornerback in all of football, ESPN's Adam Schefter reported Monday on NFL Live. Schefter said, The Chiefs are prepared, if they have to to move forward with Ljarius Sneed playing on a one-year deal. That's not what he would like to do. He would like to land a contract that would conceivably make him the highest-paid cornerback in all of football. He's played himself into that position. But so far, there has not been a team out there that is willing to satisfy the Chiefs with the proper compensation and Ljarius Sneed. Now, getting a contract done with Sneed seems to be the easiest part, and there seems to be consensus that he would become the highest-paid cornerback in the league but there has to be a team that makes an offer compelling enough to Kansas City to make the Chiefs want to trade him. And right now, that hasn't happened. When the Chiefs placed the franchise tag on Sneed, ESPN's Jeremy Fowler reported that the franchise was open to consummate a trade off it if no long-term deal is reached. Fowler added that Sneed is agreeable to the scenario, giving him a chance to talk with other teams while KC remains in play. NFL Network's Ian Rappaport added that the Chiefs gave Sneed permission to explore a trade. The Indianapolis Colts and Tennessee Titans are interested in making a trade for Sneed, according to Matt Verderaim of Sports Illustrated. However, he added that the veteran's price is too high. Kansas City selected Sneed in the fourth round of the 2020 draft out of Louisiana Tech, and he has emerged as one of the most effective corners in the league. He put together arguably the best season of his career in 2022, recording three interceptions, 3.5 sacks, 11 passes defended, three forced fumbles, and 108 tackles in 17 games. The 27-year-old is also coming off an impressive 2023 campaign in which he posted two interceptions, 14 passes defended, 
one fumble recovery and 78 tackles in 16 games. Sneed has also played a big role in each of Kansas City's last two Super Bowl runs, posting five passes defended, one forced fumble and 34 tackles in seven games in that span. The highest paid cornerbacks in the NFL on a per year basis are Green Bay Packers' Jer Alexander, $21 million AAV, Cleveland Browns' Denzel Ward, $20.1 million AAV, and Miami Dolphins' Jalen Ramsey, $20 million AAV, per over the cap. Sneed's $19.8 million franchise tag for 2024 ranks fourth in the league behind the trio. It's unclear which teams, if any, would be willing to pay Sneed more than the $21 million per year that Alexander currently makes. And there you have it, Kansas City Chiefs fans. What a frenzy is happening these days regarding Sneed and his new contract. But tell me down below in the comments, what's your opinion? Don't forget to drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any updates.